Hospitals across the country continue to expand their services for, for bereaved families. Tonight, News 8's Megan Bunchman shows us how your donated wedding dresses are being upcycled for families grieving a traumatic loss. Megan? Well, the Angel Gown program has been around for about a decade now. It's part of the NICU, NICU, or NIDO, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit's Helping Hands program. It's a service many will never have to use, but for the families who experience a loss, this program restores dignity to the short life that that baby experienced. Now, the gowns are made from donated wedding gowns. Each donation is taken apart and then sewn into about a dozen or so burial gowns from sizes that range from micro premium to full-term babies. It's a free service to families in need, and the parents are able to select a gown that speaks to them. And then they take their child home in a beautiful, angelic outfit. The world may never know if a flower doesn't bloom or even pause to wonder if the petals fall too soon, but every life that ever forms or ever comes to be touches the world in some small way for all eternity. The little one we longed for was swiftly here and gone, but the love that was then planted is a light that still shines on. And though our arms are empty, our hearts know what to do for every beating of our hearts says that we love you. That's the poem that's attached to the angel gown. The angel gown service is just one of several free bereavement services offered at the University of Michigan Metro West. Sue.